Hello everyone, welcome to my new tutorial, I am SV and today I will show you how to make integration 3D object in any your photo. I will show you this with Redshift, so if you are ready, let's start. First of all, we are going to internet and find any city background or everything what you like. So I will use today this background, I like it. Check the resolution 1920-1200, download it somewhere on your desktop and then go to Cinema 4D. So inside Cinema 4D create a camera, just normal camera. And I'll show you how to use a camera simulation tag. Going to tags, Cinema 4D tag and camera calibrator. Inside in this tag, go to second page image and make a choice of your picture. Like this. Ok, we have this picture. Uh, before start, go to settings and check a uh, final resolution. It should be same like your photo. If you like to make a very good integration, it should be absolutely same like your photo. Ok, it is done. So, uh, how to calibrate your camera? First of all, go to tag and go to calibrate mode. We have to create few lines. Add line and find any straight lines on this picture. So I think I think somewhere will be straight line like this. And it will be depth, it will be blue color. So create uh, hold on your keyboard shift and click on this line until you will receive blue color. Why blue color is uh, Z, look here. Green, Y, Z, blue and X, red. So, okay, one line created. Create one more line, I think it will be this border. Like here. Okay, it also will be Z color. Very good. Okay, one more line will be somewhere here. It will be green color, Y like this. Create maybe this corner. OK. Also green color. Very nice. And one more line. I don't know, maybe maybe like here. This will be X, red color. Like this. OK, when everything done, check here. It should be yellow or green. Last one, only camera position should be red. If somewhere you have red, it means your lines or something set up is not correct. Double check. After that, create a pin. What is this? This is center of your coordinates. So take this pin and put somewhere on any lines, on any point. For example, this will be center of my coordinates. As you can see, coordinates 0, 0, 0 and everything solved. Very good. Everything done. Now look through the camera and now we can delete the stack. We no need any more. And for camera, we create a protection tag that now we cannot move everything. So uh, how to use Redshift for this integration? We are going and first of all create a Redshift DOM light. Inside DOM light, we are going down and backplate enable. Inside in this backplate, we are download our city picture like this. So going to IPR render and check it. This is our background. What we are doing now? I will make a little bit smaller. OK, like this. What we are doing now? Uh, create any object. I don't know. Maybe it will be some text. We will do some text. Today we will do some text. And SV. It will be normal, will be middle. And reduce size. Maybe, I don't know, maybe 70 only. No, maybe 50. Maybe 50 and like this, maybe more, 40. OK, not so not so bad. We are doing some caps. 
it's too much like this and like this so we are have some text and as you can see it looks like not real not real close to the camera somewhere here and just little bit down okay what we are doing now create any material for our uh, text so going to standard redshift material going here and i think it will be some some metal so we are going to Fresnel type metalness take some color i don't know will be will be like this roadness maybe two five and and we will see what we have so apply and check we have like this anyway it's not natural anyway something not so good so we are going to dome light as you know dome light in redshift is like a simulation of global illumination and we can uh, add some dome map some hdr map so but if we haven't hdr map we also can use our background like this and as you can see of course uh, jpeg file it's not so good for hdr but now we can see already some reflection in our text um, i will show you something just a moment yeah to show you something i will create a, some sphere make a small radius okay what i show you uh, look again one more material redshift and it will be like a mirror like a like a full full mirror so apply it to our sphere and look what we have uh, sorry yeah somewhere here uh, as you can see we have some uh, some reflection in our sphere yeah maybe we will do some white color okay look at this yeah uh, but it's not correct of course it's not correct this is like a fake uh, fake reflection but as you can see this door from this side but reflection we have from other side to fix this problem we are going to dome light and flip horizontal and as you can see this wall from correct side this door from correct side of course will be good if you will use full hdr map somewhere but if you haven't you can use like this okay we no need any more uh, what we will do now if we put text little bit down we cannot see nothing cannot see nothing uh, no any shadow no any reflection nothing so how to make shadow on the wall or, or on the floor create some plate as you can see we have some plate and oh, we no need segments and change some size of this plate i don't know maybe it will be five zero for a moment this plate exactly on our road should be like this and increase length i don't know maybe it will be thousand okay look at this this plate like our road now we can put my text down and check exactly size so maybe like this object will be 20 okay very good uh, how to take out from viewport this plane and to see only shadow create one more redshift material and name of this material will be made shadow catcher this we no need anymore and this apply here okay what setting we will use first of all background is environment yes if you need any reflection you will apply this reflection but we no need reflection if you need ambient occlusion apply it so i need ambient occlusion and i need background okay what what we are doing now this material to our plane okay we have now shadow we have shadow 
and we have some ambient occlusion. So now we are going to my text and put little bit down. Very good. And maybe we will do smaller size. I don't know, maybe three zero and put closer to my camera. Okay, like this. Very good. And what next? Uh, I like to receive more shadows in this area from this uh, sky. To do it, we are going and create one more area light. Like this. And put this area light behind, first of all. Change like this. And then pick up. Somewhere up. Going to area light and to put correct position, make it visible. So we have this light and now we start to play. More far, maybe somewhere here. Okay. Very good. So I have it. Too much. And pick up. And pick up. What we have to do now? Little bit change angle. Okay. Uh, I haven't any shadow, so I am going to light and increase intensity. Maybe 10. No. Maybe. Yeah. I already have some shadow. As you can see, I have some shadow. Very good. If I apply more, will be more shadow. It depends what you need. But I will use maybe 500. Maybe like this. Okay, and I don't like to see any specular from this light. So I am going to ray and take out diffuse. Sorry, uh, take out specular. Take out specular. So I have a specular, I have only diffuse. And I no need to see in my viewport this light. Like this. Very nice. So uh, when everything done, we are playing now with little bit texture. We are apply, I don't know, maybe not too much roadness. Maybe will be only 1.5 and check what I have. Okay, very good. Maybe less. And maybe more bright color. Okay, very nice. And what next? I don't know, maybe I will apply some noise. Noise, like a bump. Noise will be like a bump. Bump input and texture input. Okay, and size of this noise maybe maybe ten. Oh no, it's too much. Maybe five. Maybe two. Okay, very nice. And I no need it too much. It will be zero point one. So like this, I have something. Zero point five. Okay, very good. I have some noise on my letters. Going to camera and apply tag, redshift, camera tag. And I show you also now some tricks. First of all, exposure. Enable it. And make some vignette, maybe 10. If you need. Very good. And what else? For example, you like to make a bokeh. If you apply, if you make, I don't know, if you make focus distance to my text, focus distance to my text, and you will apply a bokeh, what I can see. Look at this. My text in the focus, but all backgrounds out of focus. Absolutely out of focus. This is far, this is closer, but it's out of focus totally. How to fix this problem? Because I cannot make any settings. Maybe if you know how to how to apply this bokeh only for text without background, just send me some comments or it will be very good for my experience. But how I fix this problem? Uh, I will do, I am doing this in post production in After Effect. So. If you like to save this picture, what are you doing? You are go to my text and create to this text Redshift object. Inside in Redshift object, we are doing only object ID. It will be number one. Like this. 
what we are doing next uh, we don't need it anymore so going to my settings first of all yeah sorry first of all we are save it in png file somewhere on my desktop we are create new folder it will be tutorial and inside in this tutorial we will save this city file okay very good what next we are going to redshift redshift render so uh first of all i'll do i don't know one to eight for more or less good quality like this or you can use less it's up to you absolutely up to you system maximum bucket size and now we are going to AOV so this is like a multipass how to enable this multipass we are going and make a enable like this and how many multipass first of all I need multipass of my text I will do two of multipass. One of them, it will be type, will be, will be, will be, will be object ID. Object ID. Name will be, I don't know, text ID. What next? We are going to multipass output and make it enable. Then we are going to file output and make it enable and we call it like a text id pass type format will be png and will be 16 bits very good so and aov number two will be depths this is now will be very interesting because i have fighting with these steps not one hour Okay, create uh, 32 bits and file will be same. File will be PNG. Of course, you can use, for example, I don't know, open XR, but I use PNG 16 bits. More better, open XR. But this for tutorial will be enough. Very nice. And what we are doing now. So, make it render and check what I have. I have this picture, if I am going to layers, inside in the layer I can see single, single pass, I can see full background, I can see object, ID and depth. As you can see, nothing on the depth, I cannot see nothing. How to fix this problem? It's very interesting options. So we are going to camera, going to, I don't know to this view and inside in the camera go to details go here inside in the details we have two options near clip and far clip enable this and this and what we are doing now first of all near clip start move until you almost touch my letters as you can see like this somewhere here far clip start move back and look at this maybe closer i don't know it will be okay as you can see i already cannot see my light and okay very good somewhere here so uh what next in present moment, I have, I don't know, it is possible to see. I think it's, it's possible to see. Yeah, near clip and far clip. When I fix like this, I'm going to redshift settings one more time, going to settings of my depths. So settings of my depths and change here depths mode to Z normalize it like this. Z normalize it and render one more time. Check what I have now. Yes, overwrite. Again, background, single pass. It is done. Object ID, done. 
depths. I have now some depths. It is also done. So when everything fix, we are going to our Adobe After Effect. Inside Adobe After Effect, I just take this folder. Where is this tutorial folder? And take this files. Import all three files. From my city background, I create a new composition. This composition will be only for one frame. Only for one frame. So uh, then I take down my depth information. Then I take my uh, text ID path like this. So what next? I like to see only my uh, letter. I am going here and change Luma made ID like this. So I have only only it, only this and my depths I no need to see. Okay, and to this text, if I need this text, I will apply effect, name of this effect, camera, lens, blur, inside blur and sharpest. So we are going to effect, sorry, just a moment, going to effect, where is this, where is this, where is this, oh, too much, blur and sharps, yes, and take camera lens blur apply this effect inside in the blur map apply our depth map like this and now you can see if you are increase or decrease this uh, distance focus distance our text will be or in focus or not in focus like this so and one more take one more my city background and apply it under our text again going to text and look at this if we decrease text will be not in the focus if we increase text will be almost in the focus make until you will satisfied with this when everything done you have to make one more adjustment layer and make some i don't know any any color correction for example we will use film simulation and will be i don't know i like this like this so everything done just save this picture and if you're satisfied with this tutorial uh, put like subscribe send me some comments and good luck thank you very much for watching